Hello developers, welcome again to the programming fields. I'm Umesh Rana. Today I'm back with another exciting video in the Livewire 3 CRUD series in Laravel 11. In our previous video, we implemented this edit functionality and from here we can update the blog post. Thereafter, we implemented this delete functionality. So on every delete, this will ask for the confirmation and if you will confirm, this will delete that post. All right. Now in the today's video, I will implement the real time search functionality. So through that search bar, you will be able to search the entire blog post. All right. But before moving to that implementation, I will discuss about one more functionality. And basically that request was raised by one of my subscriber. So in the comment section, if I will show you in the delete functionality after deleting the record that redirects again to the page one. Let's suppose if you delete any post from the page number three, then that redirects again to the page one. Let me show you that. So let's suppose in the third page, I have total three blog posts. And from here, I will delete this last post. If I will click on delete and currently I'm active on the third page here. And if I will click on delete, yes, that post is deleted. But if you will notice here, it redirected to the first page. So this was asked by one of my subscriber. All right. So firstly, thanks to her to raise this question. So in the today's video, I will implement this functionality as well. So that if you will delete from the any active page and after deletion, you will be active on the same page. So firstly, let's start with the search functionality. So in this post listing component, I will add one search bar here at the top. So let's add that and let's navigate to the post list view so here before starting this table i will add one input text here i will create one div and i will give margin top of three inside this i will create input type text class i will provide as a form control I will add a placeholder at search post. Let's save and come to the browser. Let's refresh now. Yeah, we have the input search here and I don't want to give this 100% width to this input search. So better I will wrap this in a column. So I will add column Excel of four. All right. And I will align this to right. So I will add one more class as margin start of auto. Let's refresh now. Yes. So the search input is added here. Now when I will type anything based on the searched term, this should filter this blog post. So let's implement this. So let's bind the wire model directive here. So inside this input type, I will use wire colon model directive and I will bind one attribute here. So I will name as search term. Okay. Now we will have to define this attribute in the post list class. Here I will define public dollar search term and I will initialize it with null. And uh, here in the render function, we have fetched the blog post and we have paginated in five to get the records into chunks. So in this query, we will have to apply that search term. So that when we will type anything, it will check from that searched term. All right. What I will do, I will add where condition. And inside this, firstly, I will search with the title attribute because in the database column, we have the title field. So I will check if title like, and here I will add that search term. So I will append dollar this search term all right and here we will have to close this percent sign okay and same thing we will have to apply it for content and for the content i will add or condition so that it will check the title or content okay let me align this all right this is fine so in this post listing query i have added where condition firstly it will check the searched term from the title field and if that search term will match in any of the title 
then that will filter out and similarly i have added one more where condition in the or form so that firstly it will check the title and also it will check the content yes this is done let's refresh now let's open the developer console under this network tab if i will try to search anything you will notice it has not triggered any ajax call why because we have bound the wire model directive here in this post listing for the search term so this wire model directive will work with the submit handler but here for this input search i don't want any submit handler directly i want this on the real time search that means if i will type anything this should filter out the blog posts immediately so for this i will be using the wire model dot live attribute all right so this wire model dot live will make the ajax call on every single key type that means on every single key strike let's refresh now let me clear this network log and now let's try to search anything so if i will type l here you can see this triggered the ajax call all right and here it tried to filter the blog post but almost in every blog post we have the preceded l so let's add some more term here so i will type live wire and you can see for the live wire this filtered out the all blog post let's try with something else so i will clear this and it automatically fetched all the blog post let's type laravel 11 yes this filtered out these two only all right let's check with live wire free life cycle yes this is working we have used live wire wire model directive with live attribute so sometimes this will increase the number of ajax request so what we will do we can minimize that number of ajax request so for that we will be using live wire debounce so let's add that so here after dot live i will add debounce so this debounce will minimize the request means this won't perform the ajax call on every single key type instead it will make the ajax call when you will stop typing let's see the difference again i will open the developer console in the network tab now take a look at this network request here i will start typing when i stopped this triggered this ajax call all right so this is fine also you can add the delay in this debounce so for that you will have to add the time here just like after 250 millisecond so here before making this ajax call this will take this millisecond of time let's see the differences let me refresh now yes you can see when i stop typing and after 250 millisecond something this triggered this ajax call if you will try to increase that i will add 2000 millisecond that means this will take two seconds let me clear this log i will type laravel and i stopped and you can see after two seconds this performed this ajax call but while filtering any blog post we need immediate result so for that we will have to reduce this to 100 this will be fine let's refresh and let's try to search now yes filter is working properly now in the next step let's implement that active page functionality so that when we will delete the blog post from any of the page that will be active on the same page all right so let's come to the vs code editor and here in this post list component we have this delete post functionality and after deleting this record we were redirecting to this slash posts route all right so in order to implement this active page functionality we will have to capture the current page number so we will have to track that active page so that when we will navigate to the page numbers this will give us the active page number all right and for that livewire provides one function and through that function we can get that active page number so let's come to the official documentation of livewire 3 and here let's scroll down so under the features of this pagination let's click on this inside this pagination let's scroll down
here we have the hooking into page updates so livewire provides few hooks and by using these hooks we can perform the after or before operations so regarding the pagination livewire provides two hooks one is for updating page and another is for the updated page so this updating page hook will be triggered up before the page is updated and this updated page will be triggered up after the page is updated so we will have to use this updating page hook in order to track the active page so let's add this hook so inside this post list here i will create one function as public function updating page all right and this function will track the active page from page initiation here we will have to capture the active page so i will add one parameter let's suppose page number and i will add dump and die dollar page number okay let's come to the browser let's refresh our application and here let's try to navigate to the next page yes you can see when we clicked on the second page it given that page number similarly if i will click on the third page this given that page number all right so by using this way we can track the active page number now in the next step we will have to set that page number for the active pagination so for that livewire provides a function that is go to page so in that function we will have to set that page number so let's implement that firstly we will have to assign this active page number in a public variable so that we can access that after deleting the post here i will define one more variable public dollar active page number and by default i will set this to 1 now in the updating page i will assign this page number to that variable so i will write dollar this active page number equals page number okay this is done now after deleting the post here we will have to navigate to that active page so what i will have to do i will commit this return redirect first this is not needed now and instead of this i will write dollar this go to page okay and inside this i will have to pass that active page number so i will set this active page number okay this go to page function will redirect that page to the active page number redirect to the active page okay this is done let's come to the browser let's refresh now and let's navigate to the third page here we have two posts i'm going to delete this second one yes the post has been deleted and you can see this remained on the same active page all right and also this updated the total number of posts here after deletion previously we had total 12 posts now after deletion there is 11 so this is working expectedly now here one more improvement is needed now let's suppose in the third page or in the last page we have this single post all right now if i will delete this last post yes the last post has been deleted and this total posts has been updated now but you can see we have the blank page now because previously the active page was 3 but now when i deleted the record from the third page and after deleting the record in the last page there is no any record left so in this case it should be redirected to the previous page instead of the last page so we will have to add one more condition before navigating to the active page so before navigating to the active page firstly we will check the number of posts here if the number of post count is 0 in that active page then this will redirect to the active page minus 1 that means that will be previous page all right so let's implement this and for this we will have to fetch the updated posts here so what i will do in the render function we added this functionality to fetch the blog posts so from here i will just cut it out and uh, i will create one more function as public function fetch posts all right and i will paste that code here and from here i will return 
okay now inside this render i will call that function as dollar this fetch post and i will assign this in this post variable okay this is done now this function is reusable so i will call this function here dollar this fetch posts okay and before redirecting to the active page i will check count of this posts so i will check if post is empty and also we will have to check the active page number so if the active page number is greater than 1 that means if that is not the page 1 all right then this will go to the active page minus 1 means previous page else this will redirect on the same page all right here this will redirect to the active page minus 1 and it will be previous page this is done let's come to the browser let's refresh now let's navigate to the second page in the second page we have total five records so better i will add one more post here live wire test blog all right we have total 11 posts now now let's navigate to the third page yes in the third page we have the only one post now if i will delete this post and we are currently active on the third page let's delete this yes that record has been deleted and now we have total 10 posts and you can see this has been redirected to the second page because page third does not exist now however if i will delete any post from this second page then this will be active on the second page itself because in the second page we have total five records here so let's try to delete this post yes you can see after deletion currently it is active on the second page itself so this is working properly so finally we have implemented the search functionality and we have added the active page functionality in the live wire pagination in the next video i will add the sorting functionality in the table header so that this will be a complete data table kind of thing using live wire you will have the sorting pagination and the search functionality all right and regarding the source code of this mini project i have already created a github repository and i will provide that github repository link in the video description box so you can check out this here inside repository i have this livewire 3 single page application for the crud i will give this link in the description so if you need it you can check out the source code from here so thanks for watching see you soon in the next video until then happy coding